The movie starts with three thieves on a rooftop trying to get into a building. The purpose of this break-in is to steal a $17 million diamond kept there. Miles, the leader of the heist, goes to the edge of the building to check if the getaway driver, Tully, is still down there waiting. Miles and his accomplice and best friend, Eddie, slide down the elevator passage into the building while Deacon waits on the rooftop. They use a device to hack the lock and enter the room that has the loot they came for. While in there, one of the security men securing the diamond comes to check, but everything is calm, so he goes back to his post. Now they have to unlock the safe to access the diamond. Eddie finishes his part, so he leaves the room and goes to the rooftop. Meanwhile, police on patrol see Tully in the car on the side of the road and get closer to him. When Eddie gets to the rooftop, Deacon points his gun at him and shoots him. Eddie falls from the rooftop and crashes onto the police car beneath the building. Tully sees this and drives away. Back in the room, Miles is able to unlock the safe and take the diamond, but the security man, who now knows something is happening, comes again. He sees Miles and tries to shoot him, but Miles manages to get away through the elevator passage to the rooftop without being caught. The police arrive, but Miles is already gone. When he gets to the rooftop, Deacon points his gun at him, takes the diamond, and flees. He later finds out that there is no diamond in the bag he took from Miles. Miles is chased by the police, so he hides the diamond in the ducts of a building under construction. He tries his best to flee from the police, but is eventually arrested and taken into custody. Two years later, Miles is released from prison. He goes straight to his girlfriend Janice's house with flowers to reunite with her. Unfortunately for Miles, Janice ends everything with him and asks him to leave. Now his mission is to find his diamond. He goes to the location where he hid his diamond two years ago. Unfortunately, he gets there and realizes realizes the building is now an LAPD police station. He enters the building to see what he can do and finds out that the floor where he hid the diamond is the Robber Homicide Detective Bureau, which can only be accessed with a key card, which he doesn't have. Miles returns to the police station disguised as a pizza deliverman. He tries to get in there, but the front desk officer stops him. According to the officer, the only people who can get access to that floor are people in handcuffs and people with badges. Miles sees Officer Carlson and approaches him. He gives the pizza to him and leaves the police building after stealing his key card. Miles takes the key card to his forger Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou makes a fake police badge and transfer papers for Miles. In the next scene, Miles goes to the police station with all confidence and determination. He gets into the elevator full of other police officers to the third floor. He walks straight to the washroom and tries to open the duct. Meanwhile, a thief who has been brought to the police tries to escape and runs to the same washroom Miles is in. He manages to overcome the thief and get him rearrested. Miles is quizzed about who he is, and he introduces himself as Malone, the new transfer. New Detective Miles is paired with Detective Carlson. Carlson is asked to take Miles around the office, but they are intercepted by a call to respond to a burglary. Miles is reluctant, but has no other option. On their way, they talk about many things concerning his qualifications and experience, and he lies about all of them. They get to the crime scene where the owner of a car dealership claims that $5,000 worth of rims have been stolen from him. While Carlson was taking records, Miles was also doing his own investigation into the theft. He later comes out with his findings that the owner had stolen the rims for insurance claims as their value had dropped on the streets. He takes them to a truck parked outside, opens it, and there we go. All the rims are hidden in the truck. After the job, Miles requests to take over the steering and drive them back to the police headquarters. Miles drives carelessly on the highway, switching between lanes and doing all sorts of crazy things. They come across a minor accident on the road, so they stop to inspect. Miles uses that opportunity to grab a snack in the grocery store. While in there, a thief enters to rob the store. Miles is able to overpower the thief, but he realizes it's his old friend Tully. He allows Tully to escape through the back door of the store. Backup from the headquarters arrives, and they chase after him. Tully runs and hides behind a dumpster and exchanges words with them. Miles approaches him to talk to him. He reveals to Tully that he is working on something, and Tully agrees to let himself get arrested by Miles in exchange for $20,000 and a night in jail. Back at the police station, Miles is called to the office of his superior. He is told that he has been given the position of the new lead detective in the burglary division. In the next scene, Miles is seen in the vent making another attempt to find the diamond. He finds that the diamond is not at the place where he attached it to the vent wall with duct tape. He is told that the whole vent was flushed due to a leaking issue. Miles then has to search the vent of the entire floor with a remote-controlled car. He finally locates the diamond inside the vent, but is interrupted by Carlson. Carlson complains that he tried to pull up his records, but couldn't find any records of him. 
Miles pulls Carlson out to the stairway and lies to him that he is from Internal Affairs and is there to secretly investigate. At that same time, Miles' old friend Deacon goes to Uncle Lou and inquires about the whereabouts of Miles and finds out he is out there living his life as a police officer. Miles gets back to searching for the diamond, but he is interrupted again. He and his team are sent out on another assignment. The airport reports a theft of museum artifacts. They get there, but the FBI prevents them from investigating the crime. On their way back to the office, Miles reveals that this was a drug heist, and the big boys got the drugs out before it hit customs. He knows that the drugs would be in a bonded truck. With this knowledge, they call in air support to help locate the truck. They locate the truck and go to arrest the thieves. The driver jumps out and tries to flee, so Miles goes after him. After a little chase, he eventually catches and arrests him. They bring the load they retrieved from the truck to the office, and Miles is asked to interrogate the driver. After that, he goes to retrieve the diamond from the vent in the evidence locker, but accidentally drops it into the load of heroin they seized. Miles is told that the FBI demands the heroin for testing, so they are taking it to their office. A panicked Miles suggests the FBI and his cops unit use the heroin as bait in a sting. The plan is to deliver the drugs to the destination and wait for the owner of the drugs to appear so he can be arrested. Miles gets into the car and sets off for the mission. Meanwhile, Deacon tracks Miles and follows them. They enter the warehouse, and Miles goes to the back and retrieves the diamond. Out of nowhere, Tully shows up and demands his share. Deacon also shows up with a gun and seizes the diamond from Miles. The gang surrounds the car and asks who they are. Miles introduces himself and Tully, but Deacon exposes him as a cop to the drug runners. He denies it, so he is given a gun to shoot Deacon to prove it. While Miles and Tully attempt to distract them, the police and FBI raid the deal. They exchange gunshots with the police. At one moment, Miles saves Carlson from being shot down. Deacon escapes with a diamond in an armored truck, but Miles manages to get in the back of the truck. The police and FBI follow as he approaches the border to Mexico. The police and FBI are forced to halt their pursuit at the border when Deacon crosses the border. Miles, determined to get the diamond, steals a patrol car and chases Deacon. Miles is able to cause Deacon's car to crash and overturn, but Deacon gets out of the car, and they both point guns at each other. Deacon gives back the diamond to Miles after Miles convinces him to do so. He ends up handcuffing Deacon to the wrecked truck for the Federals and begins to walk back to the border. Deacon draws a gun to shoot him, but Miles turns and shoots him dead, avenging Eddie's death. Miles walks back to the border, where both the FBI and police demand explanations. He tells them he is an undercover Mexican officer and has to report back to his fellow Federales. A few inches over the border, Carlson and Hardcastle stop him. They reveal to him that they know who he really is, but do not arrest him as they are grateful for all his help and see him as a friend. They also say the FBI can't reach him over international borders, as he is a few inches over the border. After they share a bittersweet goodbye, Miles heads off to Mexico with a diamond. Thank you for watching. Please let us know where you are watching from.